Hey, I'm Matt from Light Bicycle, and today I'm gonna to show you how to lace a wheel. Pay attention to the key spoke. That's your first couple spokes that you're gonna be putting in. Um, if you're doing a three cross wheel, you're gonna to wanna to go four to the right of the logo on the drive side, and that's gonna be the first spoke you put in. Uh, if you're doing a two cross wheel, you're only gonna go three spokes holes to the right of the logo on the drive side as well. As well as determining the hole that you want to put your key spoke through on the hub, you need to determine the first hole on the rim itself of where you're going to put the spoke through. Um, no matter what wheel you're doing, the way we do it is you go two to the right of the valve hole. Uh, this wheel is not going to be asymmetric, so it doesn't matter which way I'm holding it. Um, but if you do have an asymmetric wheel, you got to pay attention. Uh, so in order to get the proper lacing on your wheel set, you need to pay attention to how many holes you skip before you put the next spoke through. So on the hub itself, you go every second hole, um, and then on the rim, you're going every fourth. So you can see here, we've got one here, and then empty, 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 and then spoke. And then we'll continue that for the whole way around. Okay, so I've just put the key spoke in on the non-drive side of the hub. Uh, that's this guy here. Go one to the left of your first key spoke as you're looking at it straight on. Where the key spoke lines up with the rim is just one to the left of your very first spoke as well. Um, and the way to kind of double check where that is is it should be one to the right of the valve hole. All right, so we finished the first round of spokes on the wheel. Uh, the next thing is pretty important. You wanna make sure that the logo lines up with the valve hole and that also kind of determines which way the hub is being turned. So the way that I find it is easiest is I get the hub and the wheel facing me, the drive side of my left hand, and I just turn it towards myself. And that should line up the logo with the valve hole. So if your logo lines up with your valve hole, you did something right. If it doesn't, you did something wrong and you should kind of just retrace your steps till you're on the right track. Um, so the next step here is we're gonna be putting in the spokes the opposite direction that we were before. So you take your first hole, you put it through, and this is where the two cross or three cross comes into play. The wheel we're doing today is a two cross. So that just means there's gonna be two times the spokes cross each other. So for the first cross, you've put it in and it's gonna go over top of the first spoke and then underneath of the second spoke. And then you wanna skip a hole on the rim because you don't want the spokes to be on the same side right next to each other. So you skip a hole and then that's the hole you're aiming for. And you just kind of repeat that all the way around and it should make a nice pattern. All right, so when you're finished lacing the wheel, you just wanna double check it to make sure you've done it right. Um, easiest thing to do is look down the valve hole. If you see the logo, that's a good start. Um, next thing is you just look at it from the side and you're just looking for symmetry overall everything. So the spokes are gonna go in and out different directions, alternating every one. Um, you shouldn't have any that are on the same side right next to each other. Should be non-drive, drive, non-drive, drive. Non -drive, drive. Um, this isn't an asymmetric wheel, so the dish of the wheel isn't important. Uh, and that's how you lace a light bicycle wheel.